Your Wait. first your first album. Yeah. Crazy. Uh N R E album. N O R E, your first yeah. solo album. What was the mindset when you went into that, man? Um I had did a record on CNN album called uh it was called it was it was actually called I'm Leaving. Mm-hmm. Uh it was a it was a sample of you remember that shit? Doom 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 don't let it go to your head now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was listening to that in my grandmother crib one day. So I ran to the studio and I told Easy LP, you know this record? Easy LP. Don't 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 let it go to your head now. And Easy LP was like, "Hell yeah, I know the record." And so we pulled up the record, we sampled it. I did the record, the same exact rhymes. And Traz walked in the studio. I know Pone walked in the studio and was mm. like, yo, this is hot. Mm. I was like, you got a verse for it? He was like, but he, you know, he's about to go to jail, right. so he's not really 100% his head, his head focused. wasn't in the game like that. And then Traz walks in the studio. When Traz walked in the studio, he was like, yo, man, you think you Puff Daddy? It's <laughs> <laughs> my brother. I, I, I respect him. Right. But he was like, you know, you think you Puff Daddy? <laughs> like, that's not how we sample. When we sample the shit, we sample it so people don't really recognize it. Mm-hmm. So I had already knew that I was ready for something else other than this hood shit. Right, mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Your life was something. But I knew that Traz wasn't ready to let us do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right. So what happened was um, Nas was on the original Capone and Noriega album. Mm-hmm. It was... Muse, music make these thugs calm down. Mm-hmm. Music make, makes these thugs. What you said, you know, um, you know, um, the way we, the way we, we flipped it. So, um, Nas called me and was like, "Yo, damn, I, I don't know if I'm fucking blowing this shit up." But Nas was like, "Yo, I don't like trash. Mm. I don't want to be on the album." Because what happened was we had E Money Bags on there at first. R.I.P. R.I.P. E Money Bags, and then we, um. We um, the money bags verse really wasn't right. Right. So uh, everybody suggested that we throw trash on there. We threw trash on there. Um, Nas didn't like that. Mm. So uh, Nas didn't clear the record. He right. didn't call me at first. He just didn't clear the record. Right. So that's when you got the war report, and the war report came out without him. Mm. Couple, couple, like maybe three, four months later, Nas called me. Well, I had bumped into the jungle. And me and Jungle started hanging out and then Nas had called me. And he was like, yo, I'm sorry. And I was like, sorry for Because I didn't really understand, right, you know, right. the music it business. It wasn't personal to you. Yeah, so, um, yeah, then it wasn't personal. Right. To Traz, it was personal. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he taught, he, like, and, 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 and he taught me that. Right. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know at the time. But anyway, so uh, he was like, yo, I'm sorry. And I was like, sorry for what? He was like, yo, you know, I didn't clear the record. I didn't even know what clear means. Right, right. right. <laughs> I was like, where? He was like, yo, but I want to fly you to L.A. And, um... Uh, get on this firm album. Mm-hmm. I think this is even before they announced the firm. Right. So I flew to LA, you know, to make a long story short, I flew to LA, we did the record. Um, That's how I'm leaving, got to the firm album. It was the same exact record. Okay. It was the same exact record. Okay. It's the same exact record besides the beat. Dig it. The rhymes, the chorus, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. That trash just told me, he told me that shit is whack, nigga. Mm. We ain't Puff Daddy. Mm. So I had called Trash, and I was like, on my way out there, I was like, yo, these niggas want me to work on that shit. And he was like, yo, them niggas wasn't there for mm. us for the CNN. And although he was 100% right, I had just got that call from Nas, right. too, that right. said, yo. You and he didn't say-, say he didn't like Trash. Right. He just like, yo, he wasn't feeling Trash at the moment. I don't right. know what... Discrepancy you know how your Queens beef. cats be staying Yeah, no, nah, Queens staying. niggas is the worst. Like, <laughs> you know like the new LA. Yeah, I used yeah, to think yeah. LA no, was LA the worst. And that's why I respect LA right, niggas because right. it basically reminds me of Queens. <laughs> but um So I had I had got I had got the call from Nas and I wanted to really tell Traz, like, yo, the nigga called me, he said he just wasn't feeling you at the moment. He didn't say he wasn't feeling you, but he said he wasn't feeling you at the moment. Right. But Traz was like, Well, whatever, good luck. Oh. So he basically gave me the blessing to walk. Right. He was like, yo, you know, man, matter of fact, you can fuck with them niggas if you want. You can mm. have your contract back. So oh. I, was like, I was like, but it was just a song because I didn't really get. How deep that was. I didn't get how, like, the industry was. Camps. Was, you know what Camps I mean? Yeah, I didn't get that. Teams. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You a new cat. You, you, I'm a new you nigga. You thought everybody's on some I'm buddy still shit. selling crack. Right, right. I'm still selling mm-hmm. crack, right. my mm-hmm. brother. Custody's on deck. I'm mm-hmm. still selling crack. So, um. 
I went to LA, I did this shit. Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre was like, yo, I didn't know Dr. Dre was like having other niggas write his rhymes. She was like, yo, you can do that for me. Like, he was like, but you know, if I do him, everybody gonna know you wrote it. So I was like, for real? You looking, at, just, you looking at a, a, a West Coast I was legend? Honored, right, man. right, you know right, right. So what happened was, I came back and I came back home. The industry died for me. Mm. Again, it died for me. You know, um, and then this record comes out. Mm. I'm leaving because remember, I'm not even firm. Right. Technically, I wasn't even firm. Right. Mm -hmm. So that shit came out. No, we know this. this. And no, we know that. And no, we know that. But no, we know that. And it, and <laughs> what happened was the shit just started blowing up shit was out, crazy. Of, out of nowhere. Everybody was like, yo, this person want to record with you. This person want to wow. record with you. This person want to record with you. <laughs> and Leo Combs came to see me. And Leo Combs was like. He came out to left, right? Oh, uh, I actually came to Brooklyn. I was Brooklyn, shooting a video okay. in Brooklyn. Okay. And Leo Combs was like, I don't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> But I love it. <laughs> I need to be in business with you. Wow. So I'm like, oh, okay. And all the labels, you know, threw me so many so offers. Coming at you right now. Threw me so, and I, but I chose to stay with Penalty right. after they jerked. That's crazy. Mm. After they had, they took place. Because, because at least you know these motherfuckers. Yeah. You know and, these, these, these. And you know, to be honest with you, like. When I never knew how to write 16 bars. I only knew how to write rhymes. Right. I didn't know how to do anything other than write rhymes. So when Trash came and he was critiquing us, and, and he did the right thing. Mm -hmm. When he said, yo, Nori, stop rhyming there. Cut it right there. He did the right thing. But at the time, I couldn't appreciate it because I was too young. You didn't mm -hmm. know you was in rap school. In I sense. didn't know that. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. But when he said, yo, good luck. And he was like, go ahead, go, like, it was basically like, I dare you. I work at your coffee shop, right? Mm -hmm. We we bubbling, me and you. We all right. And I'm like, yo, I'm going to open up a coffee shop down the block. But I'm going I'm to cut you in. Right, right. And you like, good luck, nigga. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Mm. So in the back of my mind, I was like, yo, I remember he shut down, I'm leaving. I remember these ideas that he was shutting down of mine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this shit work on mm. my own. Mm -hmm. And I took the deal, and I, I didn't want to go far. I didn't want to like sign an Interscope, right. even though Interscope had a deal for me. Def Jam had a deal for me. You name them, they had a deal for me. I remember me. Puff was after you. Puff hard. was after me. Hard. Everybody. Um, but that's why I'm still cool with all these people. Right. But um, I just stayed home, and I was like, because I wanted Traz to know at the time. That's why me and him laid all corn beef was you should have never let me go and you should have not only that it's just like just like my like my son the other day my son the other day I walk in my son's room this nigga got my Dre beats on mine's he has his own sneakers on how, he has his own how old is he? Uh, he's 13, 13 he okay. just turned 13 uh, March 4th teenager and this, he's banging Chief Keef mm -hmm. he's in there I'm giving a lot of I open up the door and I'm looking at my son and I'm like like he don't hear me because the beats is on. So I'm just looking at this motherfucker, and instead of me snatching the headphones off his head, <coughs> saying "You little motherfucker, you better be listening to Christian Aguilera." Mm. <laughs> you, know, you, you a suburb kid? Right. Don't you think you you ain't nowhere near hood yeah, yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of that, I let it ride. Yeah, as you supposed to. I said, you know what? I ain't his age. Right. I'm not supposed to feel where he feels. Mm -hmm. As long as he listens to parental advisory version, I don't give a fuck. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going to let him be who the fuck he, he, he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, essentially, that's what Traj is supposed to do to me. Right, right, Pause. Because right. I'm not saying I'm his son. No, no, no. But what you say, but, he's got to let you grow. He, he, was, he was your mentor. Traj he never your... understood my style. Right. Mm -hmm. he, he, and he admits to it. This is my, this, this is my guy. Right. But he admits that when I was rhyming in stereo, because that, that's how I rhymed, I was like, what is he doing? What is he doing? He was, this is different from Queensbridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if, a different if he was a smarter businessman, he was supposed to say, you know what, Nori? I don't understand shit. Right. 
Like what Leo said. Like Leo said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm a, I'm a co-sign you because right, 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 these right. motherfuckers is feeling you. Right, right. Yeah, but he didn't, and um, and I, and I guess what it is though, man, is the fact uh-huh. that you know you got the Leos, you got the Endoscopes, a whole nine. Mm-hmm. But here's Traj, who is already a veteran in the game, mm-hmm. and it's a different mindset because he knows at any minute. Now Traj loved Capone, man. Yeah, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Yeah. His favorite was Capone. Okay, mm. so um, because you know Capone sounded like Nas, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Capone spit like Nas at one point. So he thought Capone was that shit. Was that shit. So his whole plan was, you know, drop CNN and then go into Capone solo. Mm. Mm. What happened was the universe don't work like that. that. Right, right, right. (laughs) The universe picks who they want to pick. Right. And the universe goes the way it want to go. Right, right. So um, when Pone got locked up, he knew he really didn't have... That Not rapport. He didn't have that real connect. Nah, we, we we connected, but you know, he was he was above me. He was so much above me at one point. I don't I didn't think that he, he could see eye to eye right. with me. Mm. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got so many questions. Come on, let's go. We, I'm we, sorry. We don't even have I'm enough. sorry. Let's what go. I do want to ask you about yeah, please. Um, is your relationship with Chris Lighty. Yeah. I mean, you you've, uh-huh. you've said that he was the best manager. Yeah. And actually became the best friend that you had. Yeah. In the industry. What was that relationship like? Um, man? well, you gotta realize the reason why me and Chris Lighty's relationship was so personal was because my father died in nineteen ninety eight. Right. Oh, hold on. Like, oh shit. Now you guys said no, no, you, no. I got I got I got okay. you back. I got you I got, back. Um my father died July third, nineteen ninety eight. Mm. Chris Lighty started managing me June nineteen ninety eight. Mm. Couple. Maybe uh, no, maybe uh, May or something like, like at least like three months before the uh, NRE album came out. Right. So essentially, Chris Lighty kind of, in a funny way, took my father's position. Mm. Mm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And um, he was just he was just my guy. Like we always lived next to each other. Like when I when I moved to West Orange, he moved to West Orange. Right. When I moved to uh, Livingston he moved to Livingston when I moved to Miami he bought a house in Miami like it was always y'all moved the same y'all moved the same yeah circle. like either he was biting me or I was biting him you know what I'm saying pause right. but um he was just no was pause just needed my, for that one that yeah, was yeah he was just my guy <laughs> right. like you yeah. know what I'm saying like it's it's great like I, yo my like I got friends who's broke man I got friends who can't buy a Frank and then I got friends who could buy whatever the fuck <laughs> right, they want. Right, right. He just happened to be one of them. Right. <laughs> you it, know what I'm saying? Like, and we just always maintain a, a, a close relationship. Like, Chris is a person who would tell me shut the fuck up, and I would shut the fuck up, and I wouldn't feel violated. You know what I'm saying? Because and he, hel- and he helped you move in the industry. He too. helped me. Right. He helped me understand finances because mm-hmm. I didn't understand that. I didn't understand publishing. I didn't. Um, after you know coming through the Twenty Five Life deal. Um, I was basically lost, and I did, really didn't know what a manager was. So uh, I was like the hottest dude at the time. Right. So I had like a manager meeting, like where everybody, everybody come, come to Penalty Records, mm. and everybody came, and and I just I was in Penalty Records the whole time. I was just watching to see how many people was going to leave. Who was who was coming through, man? Who's, Steve Stout was mm, there. Mm. Uh, Mark Pitts was there. Mm. Uh, all all, all did, the did, top did, managers did, did, did at Dame, that time. Did Dame come through? No, Dame. Did, did Dame, Dame, Dame Dame didn't come to us because you know Dame is Dame's brother Bobby Dash is from Left Rack. Yeah, mm. so I, I um, didn't know that. Yeah, Bobby Dash is from Le- uh, next time you see Bobby Dash, ask him. He from Left Rack. So um, all the top managers at the time came through. The only nigga that stayed was Chris Light. Mm. At one point, I was living a couple of blocks away from him from Miami. So every mm. time he came to Miami, he would call me. I would try to get him drunk or whatever. But the actual last time I seen Chris Lighty. He told me to meet him somewhere. I pulled up. I, I I pulled up right behind him, and he actually got out the car, and he was watching his daughter walk into college mm. in Miami. Wow. And he turned around, and he was crying, but it was tears of joy. Right. He was like, that's success. Mm. He was like, fuck everything else I taught you. Mm. Fuck every, everything else I taught you how to get money. Uh, what to do with your money? He was like, that shit is nothing. He said, this is success. And all I seen was his daughter just walking in to enter college. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So, mm. now you say that to me, and you say that's the same guy who took his life. Maybe I'm naive again. Maybe I'm gullible. Maybe I'm retarded. 
but I don't think that's the guy who would take his life. Mm. Mm. So the conspiracy theory, I'm with it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Because I and especially in my last moment with him, my last moment with him was was tears of joy. Right. He was right, right. happier than a motherfucker. Right. That motherfucker parked his shit and was like, I'm getting drunk. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm jumping in your shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? He jumped in my shit. We went and we we, we got drunk. Right. You know what I'm saying? But again, that was the last time I saw it. Right. Have you ever had a moment in this industry when, not saying that you would have considered yeah. suicide, but when yeah. you were low yeah. and you, yeah. you were ready to... Yes. So take take me through a moment like I, that. I, it, it's because it, it's 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 the devil, man. You know what I'm saying? Like my mother, my mother is uh, a very Christian, uh, a very God fearing lady. And when you have that ties, you're always going to have the devil that's going to try to pull you down. Mm -hmm. Like the like the uh, it was the other day. I had a I had a um, a dream about me being in the house. And the floor just dropped. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it was just nothing but hell there. But right. I didn't fall. Right. I didn't fall. And the devil was scared to come next to me mm. in my dream. Mm. And I called and I called my mother and um my mother got me in, in, in contact with my aunt, who's a Christian dream interpreter. Mm. And she said, That's exactly what it is. She was like, Yo. You're good. They can't touch you because you're you're too much tied in. And but they're coming for you still. They coming. For they're you. always yeah. coming for you. Yeah. They, 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 don't, yeah. Don't, they don't ever stop. Yeah. They don't ever ever stop. Yeah. I don't mean to get deep. I'm right. sorry. Get ready for combat. No escape. Get ready for combat.